let's take a look at how to create a project using Visual Studio. Now I'm going to be using the 2012 Express Edition, so I'll just select that from the Start menu. Very shortly we're going to create a new project just by selecting New Project from the File menu. But before we do that, let's take a look to see where we're going to store these project files on disk. It's really important to understand where the files are going to be stored. So in this example I'm going to be storing the files on a USB stick, so that's just the E drive on this particular computer. And you can see I've already got one folder here called Other Work, and I'm just going to create a new folder in which I'm going to store my project. So I'm just going to call this folder My Project. And this is on my E drive. And so now back in uh, Visual Studio, I'm going to select New Project from the File menu. And I'm prompted here to select uh, from one of several templates. Now the template I'm going to select to develop a C program is from the Visual C++ um, menu under Win32. So I'm going to choose Win32 Console Application. And I'm just going to locate uh, on disk where I want this project to be created. So that's going to be on my E drive inside the folder called My Project. So I'm just going to select that my project folder and now let's give this a name so I'm just going to call the project lab in this example and one thing that's really important is make sure you don't create a directory for the solution it's going to be a little bit simpler if we don't do that so this now is going to create the project and there are some settings that we need to configure here. Make sure that you are creating a console application and also make sure that you are creating an empty project. So uncheck all of the other checkboxes except for empty project and then click finish. And now the project is going to be created. So in fact if we have a look to see what's been created on disk You can see this folder called lab has been created and inside there there are several files that Visual Studio uses. So these aren't uh, too important for us to worry about now. To do is just move the Solution Explorer over to the left hand side so it's a bit easier for you to see what I'm doing. And I'm going to right click on lab which is the name of the project and then select add new item. And I want to add a C source file here so I'm just going to call this hello.c. Now it's really important to remember that C source files end with a .c extension. So I'm going to call this hello.c. And you can see that automatically gets added uh, under the source files heading of the Solution Explorer. And I'll just move this back over to the right. So here is my new empty source file. So I'm just going to type um, a very simple hello world type program into the source file. So the main function. Uh, into main void, then I'm going to print out um, the words hello, um, followed by world, and then a new line, and remember we always end the main function with return zero. So if we save this source file, so I've just saved it now, let's go and have a look on disk to see where this is stored. So notice that the source file hello.c is stored inside this lab folder. Let's now go ahead and compile this source file. So we select Build Solution under the Build menu. And then the code is compiled. And assuming there are no errors in the code, it should say that that has succeeded. Let's once again go and look on disk to see what's been created here. Notice this debug folder has been created. And in fact there are lots of files in here, but only the lab.exe is kind of the interesting one. That's the executable file that was created when we compiled our source. So to run this, select Start Without Debugging from the Debug menu, and then we get the output from the program.